What's up guys, my name is Fezan Amjad and in this video we will create this beautiful gradient text effect. So the first step is we have to set up a background. So go to the generators and if you scroll down we have this paper. So I'm going to drag this in timeline. I'm going to select this, lower the gain, lower the lift and now we have to increase the contrast right about here. Now we have to add a text so go to the titles. Scroll up and now drag this text plus in timeline. Select this. So I'm going to change this to my name and I'm going to change this semi bold to extra bold italic. Let's increase the size and now let's go to the shading. And now in shading in number one element, scroll down and we have to change the solid to gradient. Now click here and now we have to change this color to a gray color. This one. Now click OK. Click here and now we have to also change this color to white color and now i'm going to click here and i'm going to drag this right about here so now we have this gradient style text now scroll up and we have to select number two element we have to enable it and if you scroll down we have properties and in properties we have thickness so i'm going to increase my thickness to right about here now scroll down and we have to select gradient now in gradient i'm going to click here and i'm going to change this color to this one now click ok Click here and I'm going to also change this color. Let's drag this right here to this one. Now click OK. Now have a look. We have this gradient text effect. Now the next step is we have to animate this text. So what I'm going to do is we can change the mapping angle like this and now we have this animation. Now I'm going to add a keyframe in mapping angle and now let's go to the end frame of this text and now let's change this to right here. And now if I play this video as you can see now we have this gradient outline effect. Now we have to animate this text as well. So click here and search for transform. Go to the open effects and now we have to drag this transform on top of this text plus. Now we have to go to the effects. Now in effects we have all these transform controls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my position. So go to the text and now go to the setting. We have to zoom this. And now I'm going to enable transform control. I'm going to place this right here. Now go to the effects and in effects in transform I'm going to add a keyframe in position Y. Now using your keyboard arrow key we can go to the fifth frame of this text and now we can drag this right here and now in the eighth frame I'm going to position this right in the center. And now if I play this as you can see now we have this effect. Now this look a bit weird. So what we're gonna do is we have to open the animation and now we have to increase the motion blur. And now check this out. Now we can place this right here and now have a look. We can place this right here and we can place this text right here. So it will appear like this. Now we have this simple animation. Now we can also go to the open effects and we can search for shake and now we have this camera shake so i'm going to drag this on top of this text plus go to the effects let's hide this one open the camera shake we can lower the motion scale and we can increase the speed scale and we can increase motion blur and now check this out now we can duplicate this text so select this one press alt key drag this on top of this text and we can change the alignment and we can change the position to right here. Now we can go to the video, we can go to the title, we can go to the shading and we can go to number 2 element. And now in here, I am going to change my outline. So I am going to select this color, click OK, click here and I am going to change this color to this one. Now click OK. And now have a look. So I am going to select this, let's go to the text and I am going to change this to my last name. So we can increase the size, we can change the position, we can select this one go to the text we can increase the size and now have a look now we can also select this one we can place this right here now we can search for shadow we have this drop shadow i'm going to drag this on top of this text select this one go to the effects open the drop shadow we can lower the strength we can change the angle and we can change the distance so i'm going to change the distance to right here we can lower the blur to adjust the strength and the angle. Let's blur this out 
and now have a look. So guys this is how we can create this beautiful gradient tax effect in DaVinci Resolve.